All right, welcome back, you guys. This is Andy Omar, and I'm bringing in a topic that it's kind of controversial, but not really. It's about dating single moms. It's been a topic that a lot of subscribers have been asking me in the background because a lot of these men that come coming over to the Philippines, they have not dealt with these type of women before. A lot of guys are basically retirees. A lot of people probably don't have experience with women or a lot of people honestly just been dating single women their whole life. In Asia, a lot of single moms do not really look like moms. Like they can have two, three, four kids and they'll be sexy as hell regardless. The reason why I make this topic is because, you know, there's some guys who have built a, an attachment towards single moms and it's nothing wrong dating with them. Uh, there's nothing wrong. It's more, let's say it's more of a challenge. And these are the challenges that I will be covering, the problems, the challenges. And for number one, I would have to say it's the financial challenges. The financial challenges, of course, it's gonna be that they have um, conflicts and parenting, kind of lack of support. They can have a lot of financial worries. For single parents, especially, nine times out of 10 is usually the mom is the one with the custody of the children. Because there's no custody in the Philippines, usually they just take them. Uh, the mom takes them. And they're not gonna tell you the story about how they take them. But that's another topic. So that's the financial distress coming in. Uh, single parents, they fail to meet a lot of requirements. Budgeting, constant budgeting. You're meeting these women who are on survival mode. They're always juggling responsibilities, always on financial strains and societal expectations, of course, especially with social media and everything with the limited income. And that's one challenge that you have to face. You have to know that you're dealing with a person who is not, I'm not saying in general, but 80% will have to be women that are online are actually looking for some type of support for their child. And hence they go out online and look for foreigners, etc. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but it's true. I'm sorry to say that. And when you meet these women, they're going to they're gonna tell you straight out, I got financial problems. I got stuff going on. And some people might not like it. Some people are going to be like, oh, she's a con artist. She's a scammer. Well, look, you're dating these women. You have to know what's the responsibilities that are going to come in regardless. It might not be your child, okay? But... You're still trying to be part of her life. Like, you're still trying to bang her, right? There still has to be some sort of, not everything can be just all you. There has to be some sort of giving as well, not just receiving. Number two, disciplining their children. She has the sole responsibility of taking care of her child and she has to discipline her child. Her children or whatever, you know, nieces and nephews, Everything that comes along with the family because, you know, the family is all united. So as a single mom, she would have the stress from disciplining kids. The financial burden, you know, it limits their time. Disciplining, babysitting, no proper guidance whatsoever. They just are left alone in the world. They have their parents, of course. But still, they are lonely in a different way, not just with people surrounding you. The situation is that children get raised by a single parent. And... That's another form of emotional deal. Sometimes they may even react aggressively, the kids. So that's the thing you have to worry about, that the kids, they might get older anytime soon. They might be kids, they might be young, they might be three, they might be four. But later on down the road, those kids are going to be teenagers. They might act re aggressively due to their age, due to the hormones. They might emotionally manipulate you. Typical teenage behavior and we were all teens and we all know what you know how we reacted as teens especially the the difficulties of trying to discipline a teenager down the road you have to think that little cute child that's three years old he's gonna grow up to a full-grown adult and he's gonna respond back and he's gonna demand some things that's what normal teenagers do i'm sorry to say Number three, emotional damage. It's a significant struggle for any single mom, basically. 
Um, it is important to seek support. They go to the family, of course. Raising children as a single mom can take an emotional toll, and their mental health being as well. You have to also figure out that these women have been dumped by these guys, or they've been through some kind of emotional trauma, and they are basically damaged goods in a way. It means that there is very hard for them to be trusting. They're always, since they're coming from previous relationships, the emotional damage part, they're going to be, there's a tendency to be highly jealous. There's a tendency to be overprotective of the husband. There's a tendency to be overprotective of the kids. They're not really going to put themselves out as much as a girl with no kids. You know, a girl with no kids, she wants to focus on traveling. She wants to focus on going out, having some parties. Uh, she wants to focus mm, exploring. While the single mom is more on, I want to settle. I already got my kids. As long as my kids are fine, I'll stay with you kind of deal. It's pretty taxing to them. And yeah, you have to also be considerate of that as well. Being damaged goods is not always a bad thing. There is always somebody out there for everybody that's how i would say so if you can actually if you're a person who likes to settle down then hey why not okay so number four the lack of support as i was saying earlier conflicts parenting co custody they have to deal with the ex and that's the thing they might you know it might be an ex-convict ex-felon they might have a job somewhere they might have a second family the ex who knows and that's why they would latch onto you single mothers al always face lack of uh, practical support not not just financial but more on the way with family because of society they don't feel appreciated enough for what they're doing have you ever noticed how a lot of single moms are all around the world compensate how they are sing are single parent and they are independent women they're overcompensating for these things because they have a lack of support. So they go to social media and start to say these things. They start to say, I'm a single mother. I'm strong. And they want these little likes. They need these little hearts. They need the little love, little emoji signs. Because it shows psychologically it's a form of support, even from a stranger. They have a lot of major challenges. Looking after kids, babysitting kids, very hard. They don't really have a support system to rely on because of societal expectations. There's not a lot of caregiving caregivers in the, I mean, in the Philippines. There's not a lot of places you can go for babysitting centers or anything like that. Hey, hint, hint, that would be a good business. Number five, societal stigmas. Yeah, juggling responsibilities all the time, the financial strains, societal expectations. You probably got your family back in the States, back in Australia, back in Europe, back in Africa or wherever you're from or Asia, Korea. And they're going to be like, you're dating a single mom? What's wrong with you? You don't have kids or you already have kids. So that's another thing that you have to also face. The societal stigmas from your side and the societal stigmas from their side saying, you know, because they're going to be Filipinos who are going to say, you're a single mom and now you have a foreigner. You're trying to take the easy way out. You get it, right? That's how a lot of uh, Filipinos would see it, especially men. The ex is going to say, I don't need to support you anymore. You already have a foreigner to do it for you. You get it, right? Like, it's a lot of societal strains. And this does not apply just to the Philippines, but this applies all over the world. Number six, the guilt. Yeah, it is common for single parents to go on a guilt trip after a bitter breakup. Big time. You know, you're out there looking at women. They're going to feel guilty if you're, you're walking with her. Let's say you're going to the Ayala Mall, SM Mall, and then you see this sexy, perky girl walking, you know, across you guys and she's just you know buying some gym equipment and she's in her tight booty shorts and you just take a glance of course they're gonna feel jealousy they're gonna feel guilt they don't want to be like that some can but not the majority 
that's a very small minority of single moms who could do that. But still, from the bitter breakups and all that, they will feel tendency to be more jealous. Um, they would blame you for these kind of things. At first, they're gonna say, oh, you're better than this guy because of this, because of that. You know, you gotta give all, they give you the typical feel good rhetoric. But then, when you get in a fight, they're gonna, they know what to say to their ex before and they're gonna say it to you. It might not work on you, but still, they will talk back. Number seven, loneliness. Yeah, as I said before, due to the emotional challenge they feel lonely they are they tend to go more online look for some sort of support they tend to easily latch on more to another human being for emotional support let's call it or relationships they're easier basically that's what i gotta say they're they're easier women i'm not gonna sugarcoat it these women are easier to get, they're lonely, and they're out for you. Yeah, <laughs> sorry to say that, uh, single moms. Not a lot of them, you know, not the majority, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Number eight, shared custody arrangements. Now, if you're dealing with the ex, and the ex wants to also see the child, yeah, now you have the shared cu custody thing. <laughs> so you have to share the custody, custody arrangements. When are you going to see the kids? The dad might visit, you know, or the dad, she might go to the dad's house, you know, uh, of the child, the ex's house. You don't know because uh, they have birthday parties. Filipinos, they like their fiestas and all that. It definitely, that is what's going to happen. You're going to, if the dad is part of the picture, you're going to see the dad regardless, yes or no. And that's another deal that you got to face. Number nine, time constraints. Even though there's the lonely part, there's still the time constraints. Of course, they have to take care of their children, right? So 20, they're, they're a mom 24 seven. That's the thing you have to figure out. How are you gonna do it? You know, she plays the roles of mom and dad. She disciplines the child. She deals with the family. She might have to go to work. Of course, the time constraints are there. So, a lot of the expats, they might not like it, but there's the time constraints. There's times for everything. They gotta work. These women, you know, they're not out. Before they met you, they were working. Look, if you are asking them to be in a relationship and you wanna see them more, sadly to say is, you might have to pay for it. She might have to quit her job. You might have to put her in another job. You might have to make some sort of arrangement with her. And it happens with a lot of foreigners out there. So time constraints, they gotta take care of their kids. You know, they might have a sick mother. You know, that's the thing, they have sick children. They have to balance everything out. Not all is about just, just because they're lonely doesn't mean they need, they need a relationship, no. So you might have a lot of problems out there facing this. Anyway, I've named dating single mom problems that can happen. If you have any more, you can put it down on the description, on the description down below. But this is the thing that I would say that they're not all bad and they have some certain challenges. You're just dating a woman who has more challenges in her life and you have to accept it. Honestly, you have to accept it. There's guys out there who date these women and they think that they're going to stop everything like they have an abundant amount of cash or something and they're going to stop everything in the world just for them. It doesn't work like that. You have to consider these women were self-sustaining before you. Even if they weren't, they were having some sort of hustle before you. Now that you want to save them, that's when you have to pay up, pony up. I'm not saying paying as in like a prosty or anything. I'm just saying, relationship-wise, it's pretty common sense that you would have to pay up, right? I mean, unless you want to be a like some sort of evil boyfriend and just keep taking, 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 they reciprocate. 
You give, they take. You give, they take. They are the extractors. You are the provider and they are the extractors. But single moms extract the 